proud of you. Let's go. I'm extremely excited about the opportunity to play indoor soccer. One oh. touch shot and goal! That was arena soccer perfection. With an absolute golazo! Goal! Oh. Field at Pachanga Arena, San Diego. It's time for Major Arena Soccer League action as tonight. The San Diego Soccers do battle with the Tacoma Stars. It's LD Day in America's finest city. Alongside Nate Abarea, Craig Elston here with you. Thrilled to be joining you across the country on 11 Sports USA. Nate, since January 24th, we've been waiting for this day. Landon Donovan makes his MASL debut. It's really happening, and there is a buzz in this grand old arena that we haven't felt in some time. Talk about tie in the past with the present moment. It's all here, nostalgia and up to the second excitement. LD in SD. Landon Donovan will start in the midfield. He'll be the last player introduced tonight. However, the Sockers will be without their longtime team captain, three-time MVP, Craig Childs. Hamstring injury, he's a no-go tonight. Sockers also have Leo De Oliveira, a little bit gimpy on his toe. Brian Farber's been dealing with illness all week. So the Sockers may need to rely on the MASL's best defense, anchored by the goals against leader, Boris Pardo. Boris Pardo has quietly put together a resume that should be the envy of most anybody in this entire league. You're talking about a potential MVP candidate in Boris Pardo. The offensive players get all the accolades, but Boris quietly is putting together one heck of a season, and they're going to need their goalkeeper tonight, the Sockers. For the Tacoma Stars, in at 6-6, six and six, Nick Pereira, their player head coach, second in the MASL in overall points. He's going to have to be big tonight. Player coach and a lot of the pressure on his back. So Pereira's got to look no further than the last time the Stars were in this building for inspiration. A big win for Tacoma. The only loss for the Sockers this season came right here against the Stars. We'll see if they can channel that inspiration here tonight. It's going to be the biggest crowd in the history of the San Diego Soccer since their return in 2009. The Soccers and the Stars, we're back with the opening kickoff next on 11 Sports. Hi, thanks for checking out American Spa and Pool Pros. We provide liability insurance for pool service professionals. Whether your business is pool repair, builders, remodelers, plasterers, or just about any service for swimming pools, we have a plan for you. Our customers love us and they keep coming back year after year. We're licensed to insure your pool business in more states than any other pool service association in America. We offer great coverage and competitive rates. There's a flexible plan that's perfect to protect your business and your livelihood. Have a question? Just ask. We look forward to you becoming a member of ASAPP today. Your team. The perfect fit. The game ball. Are you ready? Soccer Loco, next level performance. Your team. Califino Tequila, treat yourself to the fino things in life. I'm Jill, Tegan, Paxton, Kaylin, and, and we're, we're proud members of California Coast Credit Union. <laughs> we were all able to get car loans through Cal Coast at a great rate. It was quick and easy, all four times. That's the Cal Coast advantage to us. Hey, bartender. What's up, man? What do you have? You know, it's been a stressful day. Why don't you give me something with a little kick to it? I think I know what you need. Soccer's tickets? That'll hit the spot. The soccer's are awesome. 
The Sockers are awesome. On Friday, March 1st, the Sockers host the Turlock Express. It's a $2 Bud Light Friday night. All fans receive a new Sockers license plate frame. Get your tickets today. Call 866-799-GOLD. Live from inside Pachanga Arena, San Diego, we are just about ready for kickoff. The most anticipated kickoff, I might say, in MASL history. All right, soccer fans, we've got it. And the Tacoma Stars. We've got a crowd that is, Nate, the biggest crowd in the 10-year history of the third iteration of the Soccer's franchise. And we saw the line outside. They're still coming in. Craig Elston, it is good to be here with you this evening in this grand old arena. As Guy Newman, the son of the late great Ron Newman, called it on opening night when this field was christened as Ron Newman Field. Tonight, LD and SD, the Landon debut. This feels like the good old days. This is tie-in nostalgia with the present moment. Talk about up to the minute excitement. One of the greatest players in the history of soccer in North America is taking to the pitch for the San Diego Soccer. There he is, number nine, Landon Donovan, getting ready to go, keeping the hips loose. As the Sockers are in their home blues, trimmed in yellow, yellow socks, they will run right to left across your screens as we bring you the action nationwide on 11 Sports USA, also streaming on Twitch.tv. Sockers will run from west to east, right to left. The Tacoma Stars with their white tops, with the yellow and orange diamond midriff pattern into the navy blue, white shorts trimmed in navy blue and white socks. They will run left to right. Our officials on the field tonight, Mark Kadlicic and Kia Depina. Arnold Baldo is our assistant referee, and our fourth official in the box is Ramiro Delgado. The soccer is without their all-time leading goal scorer, Craig Giles. A hamstring injury has sidelined him. Also scratched tonight, De Roberto, Eduardo Velez, Ray Reza, Cristian Segura, and Jesus Chuy Molina. Fifteen minutes are on the clock. Donovan's on the field. And a crowd of over 8,000 still working their way inside Pachanga Arena, San Diego. It is just about time to get this thing going, Nate. Three words, Craig. Let's have it. We've been waiting for this night. Feels like we've been waiting months and months for this night. The last week especially has been agonizingly long as we've been hoping and praying for Friday night to come. We've been thinking about kickoff. Think no more. Reality it is. Tacoma in town, Landon on the pitch, the Sockers and the Stars right here, nationally televised broadcast. A pleasure and a privilege to be with you wherever and however you got this thing tuned in. And as always, good to be with you here, Craig. Uh, looks like our delay was due to the Brazilian goalkeeper, Sinaldo. Uh, who had apparently had to Give himself a break. So, of course, building off of that information, Sinaldo is here because Danny Waltman is not, Nate. When the Sockers on January 18th met the Stars up in Tacoma, a collision between Taylor Bond and Danny Waltman led to a groin injury. Waltman is on the bench in street clothes tonight. Sinaldo, who had originally committed to play for the Turlock Express, got snatched up by the Stars. Sinaldo, a veteran, the whistle has sounded. We are underway. The Stars and the Sockers live on 11 Sports USA, Twitch TV, and MASL TV. Sinaldo looking for his lane of distribution instead finds the head of Raimundo Contreras first touch for Landon Donovan as a soccer <laughs> we've got firsts on the mind tonight as Boris Pardo who is first in the league in wins and goals against average and second in saves percentage moves the ball around I just heard a cheer for a three yard ball pass that's what we're talking about tonight with Landon Contreras every touch is going to have a buzz attached to it here's Nick Pereira Donovan challenges is in the back Pablo da Silva, another Brazilian veteran, plays it back to Sinaldo. Some high pressure shown by San Diego. Cesar Serva is now tracking up into the attacking third. Sinaldo forced to play with his feet. That ball deflected by Leo. Turnover. It's Escoto chipping it to Leo on the near wall. Leo rolls to back post. Donovan shoots Woo! just wide. 
That would have had the crowd up and roaring one minute into 60. First minute's gone. Here's Serra. Here's Leo. Leo skipping it off the wall. Sonaldo coming out to play. Battle for possession. Sonaldo trapped in the corner now. Brings it out. Escoto! And blocked in the middle. That one was headed wide anyway. You know, it took Landon a couple of weeks of training to get his first goal in practice. Here's a chance up front. Ooh. And the ball off the wall, looking for Megson. Now tracked back out. Donovan was there to deflect it away. Landon asking off on his first shift complete. 90 seconds on the pitch. Adam Poyo Ruiz takes over. I was going to say it took Landon a while to get a goal in practice. Got a couple the other day, and it was a big confidence boost. Oh, how big an early goal for Landon on his debut tonight would be for his confidence and just for the buzz of this building. Everybody hoping to see number nine's name up in lights here at this grand old arena. Sonaldo decides to dribble out. Little Danny Waltman action. Into Pereira's buttes. Pereira left wing, it's Lund. Lund with space. Deflected away. Ooh. Excellent work by Guerrero Pino. <laughs> and this has created a break. Pino working the southern wall. Pino wing pass blocked, but Poyo's there to clean up. Slides it to Bond. Bond working out of the corner. Crosses into the middle. Could have been a foul. Was a foul on Farber right there. Yeah, Farber. A little overzealous going into that challenge there, but I think everybody's going to be all right at the end of this thing. 12.52 left here in the first quarter. As much energy as we've seen in an opening two minutes from this soccer team all year. Phil Salvaggio has not been shy in talking about one of the few weak points of this team. They've had some slow starts this year. Energy has maybe been lacking for the first 15 minutes from one night to another. No such problem tonight. Yeah, we're still scoreless, but not lacking for effort early on. Pereira being marked by Pino. Farber had a high boot there for a moment. So did Boyle, but Pereira has the ball. Got the triple team and the steal as well. And I tell you what, Nate, if they don't engage and get that steal, they had two open wing runners. Bond to the top of the arc. Bond shoots wide. Lund will track the ball down for Tacoma. Oh. He's pressured. Ball loose. Peewee gets a touch to Pollo up in the air. Back to Contreras. He will head it just outside the red line. Stepping up on the challenge is Lund. Stars look to break, but they've got a bouncing ball. And it is back for a little work from Mike Scharf, playing just his second game on defense for the Stars. Working through the third minute out of 60. Live action with you on 11 Sports USA as the Sockers and the Stars are scoreless so far. Contreras to Escoto. Here comes Escoto. The Tijuana star sees this ball to the southern wall. Felipe Gonzalez pushed into that wall by McCluskey. Whistle sounds. They're going to give this one, it looks like, to the Stars, Nate. Indeed. And if they don't call a foul, that has to be the right call. So. Right in front of the seventh man. Old school soccer's diehard supporters over there. Here for every game. And a whole lot of new soccer's fans and old soccer's fans coming back into the arena tonight. Look at loose ball. Oh, what a Headed save. away after Pardo made a point blank save. Contreras was there to play free safety. Escoto dropped in a foul is called. The Soccers handed out Vuvuzelas to the first 600 fans through the gates. We have been hearing them, and you'll hear them all night long. 1-2 passing through midfield. Felipe with some space. Right wing to his brother Juan Gonzalez. The identical twins bumped off the ball. Oh. Gonzalez then railroads Cox for the foul. You know, it's one of those situations where Felipe's charging through straight down the center of the park, and I wouldn't mind seeing Felipe pull the trigger there, and I think the next time he's in one of those chances, you're going to see him shoot because we've seen him score of late, and goals have come off similar situations. He's doing kind of the right thing, what you're supposed to do there, look for the guy out wide, but next time Felipe finds himself in a position like that one, I say pull the trigger. Here's Landon. Donovan's pass along the bench wall was intercepted by the man off that bench, Troy Peterson, for the Stars. First mistake out of the system. Fourth minute gone, 11 remaining. Ticking downward in the first quarter. Sonaldo says, somebody come to me. Donovan reaches for his steal. Now he has to chase the play. Got a touch on that ball. And Serra says, tranquilo. Let's settle things down. Here's Pardo. On the southern wall, it's Pino. His hey. long ball is going to sail into the crowd. Welcome to the arena. In our training report on Wednesday night, Nate, I talked to Brian Farber about the dangers of kind of playing to the crowd or letting the crowd get in your head. Do you feel like the Sockers have just a little bit of 
over energy right now? Maybe. I mean, I'm heralding the energy moments ago, and maybe there is kind of a flip side of that token where it can come back to bite you, but I'm throwing that all out the window because you get an early goal. You get a goal here in this first quarter with people, last of the crowd, filing in here, packing this arena. You get an early goal, this place is lit up, and it's going to do wonders for everyone's confidence. So I say go for it. I say put it all out here in this first quarter. Sinaldo again far afield. Pino, offensive midfield. The Tijuanense star, Christian Gutierrez, with seven goals on the season. Pardo says, give me an outlet, boys. Pardo across the red line will cut the ball to his partner, Serda. Great appearance from Boris Pardo a few days ago on Soccer's Overtime, the weekly Soccer's podcast. Great guest appearance from Soccer's goalkeeper and a man who a lot of people think is an MVP candidate in the MASL this year. Gutierrez is header. Sonaldo with his first save. Here is Keats. Corey Keats, who took that early foul. Now Serda steps up on a steal. Here comes Gutierrez. Gutierrez, ball on his feet. Kicks it out left wing. Defender Serda makes a run. Nice. He's deep into the corner and draws two. Serda back to Escoto. Tried to no look it to Gutierrez. Off the wall. Gutierrez! Oh! Just wide! Serda! High and into the netting. Oh! You were talking. Wallace Scora to himself with a rainbow in the mix. Cristian Gutierrez pulling out the bag of tricks. 9.23 left here in the first. Almost an absolute beauty from the Tijuanense. Here's Pablo under high pressure. Sinaldo all the way out of his net. Wow. Sinaldo, who is nothing if not confident, to Pereira. Nick Pereira. U.S. Beach men's national team superstar. Great stuff back there from Guerrero. Pino. Here's a break. Two on one. Peewee with the Scoto. Peewee just wide of Escoto's head. Leo stepped to the right foot. Leo crashed in on the double team. Pereira comes up with a steal. Lost it back to Pollo. It's Escoto on the wing. Tried to wall pass to himself. Deflected off of the leg of Chase Hansen. Back out to midfield, Luis, Kiwi, Ortega. Great backtracking there by Nick Pereira. Talk about leading by example. The player coach busting his butt to get back defensively and prevent a scoring chance going in the back of the net for the Sockers. Sockers possess. Pino. Working it back to Peewee. This ball deflected and lost. And look out, Pereira's on the run. Pardo is going to have to come out. Directional header, very well done. Well and done. then Pino cuts it back to Escoto. Very well done. Here is Brandon Escoto, soccer's leading scorer in goals and points. Tied with Charles with 17 goals, leading in points with 29. Excellent segue there by Escoto. Holding the ball for his team, also trying to get off the pitch. Leo now. Barber came on for Escoto. Mm -hmm. Leo's got three around him. He's ready to come off. Bond comes on. Taylor Bond looking for the distribution is Farber in the corner. Ryan Farber back and forth play on Hansen. Ball deflected. Sinaldo is there to scramble in his crease. And you see Landon chomping at the bit right now. Ready to come back into this game. This ball deflects and short hops into the soccer's bench as the deep end newly fortified <laughs> is in full throw. Talk about reinforcements. The lads and lasses of the deep end. With a whole lot of new friends tonight. That's a legitimate ultra section. That's what I'm talking about. I gotta tell you, Nate, this northern side of the arena in the terrace level, the upper section, has just been steadily filling up minute by minute by minute over the last 20 minutes. I think when we went on the air at about 725, there were very few people on this side of the field. Now we know what everyone in, uh, in line, where they had their tickets. They're all on this side. We are almost full in this area on the upper deck. It is a sight to behold, and this means a lot to a lot of people here locally. The soccer's brand near and dear to the hearts. So many fans, so many personalities, important soccer personalities. Got to go take to a break. break. Here on Sports. No score.
No score, Sockers and Tacoma Stars. San Diego's next home match will be March 1st. That's another Friday night when the Turlock Express are in town. It's a $2 Bud Light Friday night. There's a goal! It's Farmer from Bond! And out of nowhere, the Sockers strike first. one nothing San Diego. Farbizi makes it look easy. Straight from the restart, Bond with the flick of the head, and Farber with the flick of the right boot. And that's a thing of beauty to christen the scoreboard for the San Diego Sockers. And on the night of LD and SD, it's Landon's old friend Farbizi getting the first piece of goal scoring glory. And you see on the replay again there, that lofted headed assist from Taylor Bond. Simply glorious. Beautiful finish in the end of it. The flick of the right foot from Farber, 1-0 SD. Let's hear Callum McClurg announce it. Score by number seven, Brian Farber. Assisted by number two, Taylor Bond. Time of the goal, 7.42. Again for the soccer. Sinaldo calls time out for Nick Pereira and the Stars to talk it over after Farber. And I think you have to talk about the hustle of Brian to step up on that ball. I think he caught the defender by surprise. I think it was well read by everybody involved. I think the initial service cross field there to find Bond, I think that was all by design. That's Bond coming away from net, Farber crashing, and that little lofted header back from Taylor Bond was right where it needed to be, and that's any goalkeeper's nightmare. Just hovering there going, do I come out and attack it? Do I stay on my line? And is that goalkeeper is thinking about that decision. Brian Farber is saying, no time for you to think I'm scoring. So as I was mentioning before, I was so rudely interrupted by a Brian Farber <laughs> goal, you know. Friday, March 1st, $2 Bud Light Friday night, $5 Calafino margaritas all night long when the Sockers take on the Turlock Express for the final time in San Diego this season. We are honoring our heroes, our first responders, our police, firefighters, everybody. And all fans in attendance go home with a Soccer's license plate frame. Get your tickets, sdsoccers.com. Soccer's high pressuring, and Sinaldo has no desire to stay in his net in these situations. He works as a sixth defender out there. Have you seen a goalkeeper this year more prone to being far afield? The only other one I can think of is the man who he's replacing tonight, and that's Danny Waltman. This ball right into the breadbasket. Sinaldo wants to throw it right back out. A strong arm that is going to one-hop over the short side of the northern wall. The Sockers have a weekly podcast. It's called Sockers Overtime. Comes out every Monday during the soccer season all the way through the playoffs. Join Nate and myself for recaps of the past week's games, interviews, insights, match previews, and interviews with your favorite soccer star. Sockers Overtime as Leo works in the corner. Available out to Escoto. That shot blocked by Hansen. Wherever you get your podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and the Mighty 1090 app and website. Corner kick for the Sockers. Landon Lurkin right there. Landon is at the free throw line. Oh! The Landon, oh! he shoots it's knocked off the line! <laughs> Donovan has his first taken off the line by the Stars defense. And taken again by Sinaldo. Double save from point blank, Landon Roth. Leo tripped. Foul, Tacoma. <laughs> you thought surely the rebound. You thought surely the second chance was going in. I had heard that the Sockers had a free kick that they thought would work for Donovan. And there it was, clearly. Well, watch Landon trying to sneak back post here on this one. The Scotto coming in with that left foot. The boomer, Sinaldo. Donovan, off wide right. Leo working for the ball. Tip loose to Jamail Juice Cox. Three shots from Landon. Here's Leo. Leo, fancy. Three guys trying to get a foot in, and the bowl will not let them get the ball. <laughs> but never a bowl in a china shop. No, no. More like a bowl doing ballet. Leonardo de Alaveira. Never gets old. Here's Bardo. Got right across the red line for this distribution. Otherwise, it would have been a three line pass. Hansen will track it down. Bond, who had the lovely header assist, and Farber, who had the first goal. 
Both on the field right now with under five and a half to play in the first quarter. And the Sockers enjoying a 1-0 lead. Corey Keats has numbers coming across midfield. It's three on two. Right wing, it's Megson, but he had a poor touch. Had to track the ball back, and that allowed all the Sockers defense to regroup. Pereira challenged, and Pino steals the ball away one-on-one. -on -one. Bonds making the run. Pino, fourth touch. Bond accepts, skips, nice. moves, fakes, passes. Poyo. Boyo dropped the whistle. Pereira did not like that call. Nick. Player coach trying to go palms to the heavens saying, what did I do? I think Nick Pereira, at least from way up here in Rosette, Pereira committed a foul. The Sockers will have a free kick as a result. Juan Gonzalez. Farber is lurking back post. Bond in the crease. Poyo left wing, Pino right wing. Two-man wall, Megson and Pereira. Gonzalez shoots he hits crossbar wow that thing cannon back out oh. all the way to Boris Fardo rebounded across midfield Fardo up in the air is Keats Megson chests it down Good sending ball. a man forward beautifully done it's Kyrell Joseph Kyrell Good defense by Cesar Cerda did not allow an angle to attack the net it's all about the angles in this sport it's all about the angles it's knowing to get back and just cut those angles off in those situations. Serda, as good as anyone. Nick Pereira. It's got to be thrilling for the Stars to be playing in front of a crowd of this size, Nate. Never mind the soccer. It's thrilling for the MASL. Philip Lund. Lund. Challenging Pino. Pino up to the task so far. So thrilling for the MASL. The commissioner even decided to show up. Yeah, in fact, we'll hear from Commissioner Joshua Schaub in our halftime show. We'll be a live guest up here in the booth. Scharf to Pablo. Pereira looking for the ball in the corner and drawing two. Poyo is the second. Here's a wall pass just out of the reach of Scharf. Now Pablo kicked away by Pino. Derek Johnson, Pereira holds, sends. Johnson back post goal. Philip Lund has tied the game. Pretty passing. Johnson will get the assist on the Lund finish, his 12th of the year. Yeah, Lund's going to get the goal here. Derek Johnson, in my humble opinion, should get most of the credit. Johnson, relentless in attack for Tacoma. His first real opportunity to contribute tonight. Number nine for the side and white from the Pacific Northwest. Lovely hold up play from Pereira. He's as good as anyone when it comes to that stuff. One, two with the layoff back to Johnson. Johnson blasted low to the back post. 10 to nine to eight, goal. One, one, 340 left. Here in the first quarter, Johnson feeding Lund to tie it up for Tacoma. Here's Poyo. Sends that one off the back wall. Oh. Skoda trying to dig it out. Ball loose in the middle for a moment, but to the right of Leo when he went, ran to the left. Now here's a ball loose. McCluskey trying to wrestle Contreras for the ball, and he did a little bit too much. San Diego gets possession. Back on even terms. Next time... Landon Donovan finds his way out to the pitch. Is it going to be an added hunger? Frustrated after being blocked twice from point-blank range. Nice, Sinaldo, Tacoma goalkeeper. There's Leo. Right now it's Leo, though. Leo. Again, if you're just joining us, Craig Childs, soccer's all-time leading goal scorer. Out tonight. Hamstring injury held him up. Child's not expected to travel to Tacoma either, although Craig did participate in warm-ups tonight, so perhaps a sign that he is very close to returning. There's a Skoda dancing his way in. 2.45 left right now in the first quarter. Top of the box. Leo shoots! And Alden denies his fellow countryman. Leo says, I was getting held. Yeah, Keats was also saying Leo was swinging an elbow, so you had Leo saying I was being held. You had Kate saying Leo was swinging an elbow. No call from the ref there either way. Keep an eye on the Number three versus number 11 matchup as this quarter progresses. Tyrell. Soccer's pressuring once again. And here they are, toe to toe. Sinaldo again on Safari. This one he floats to the wall. Gives this go to a chance to challenge along with Poya. Sliding in to accept the ball, Megson. Felipe reaches in, bumps him off the ball. Skill and strength right there by Felipe Gonzalez. 
13th minute, walks into the San Diego Knights. 1-1 one, one our score. First it was Farber, then it was Tacoma's Lund. That ball given away by Contreras. Waiting to knock it down was Lund. Kyrell to Pablo. The Silva X of the Milwaukee Way in the MISL. Leagues have been merged for five years now. 90 seconds left in the first quarter. Pablo across the soccer shield. Lund's making the run into the left corner. Ooh. High boot. And the foul on Philip Lund and Contreras had a little nudge for him as well. Healthy competition down there. Lund, all oh, the confidence right now after scoring that goal. Contreras not having the initial high boot there from Philip Lund. This one over the head of Christian Gutierrez. And now McCluskey. Strong run. Serta staying with him, hip to hip. Gutierrez steps in on support. Got a foul against was on McCluskey. McCluskey and the Stars. 70 seconds remain in the first quarter. Donovan on the field now for San Diego. Serta to Pardo. Donovan watching as Pardo ready to distribute. Or saying, get up there, Landon. I think that's pretty much what he was saying. <laughs> All right, Landon. Don't wait back here. Don't wait on me. McCluskey working forward. There's Lund again. Lund has drawn the whole team on defense. Like this player, Philip Lund. A strong first quarter. I'm sure Raimundo Contreras has much fondness for Philip Lund right now. There's a steal. Kiwi. Three on two if they can work it. But the pass deflected. Now out of play is because they consider that a deflection, it won't be top of the arc. Yeah. Final 30 seconds of the opening quarter. Look, every time Landon Donovan has been on the bench for the Sockers tonight, he waits right by the door. He's not interested in being down the bench. Ready to come right back in. Pee to Pino. Pino one times it high. Just a bit underneath from the Warrior. Get head Pino. Stay up to date with the latest San Diego Soccer's announcements, player news, the latest deals and promotions, the sights and sounds of the MASL. Follow the Soccer's on social media. Like the San Diego Soccer's page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at San Diego Soccer. 20 seconds in the quarter. It's Ramos. Room to run. Ramos stops the ball on right wing. Tried to feed the middle. Gets it back. Has Leo step in. Now, fancy footwork and Pino comes in to dispossess Jamel Cox. One last charge. Seven seconds. Oh. Keats is able to knock this oh. ball down. Sonaldo gets it away from Farber. One second. Poyo has nothing to do. The horn sounds to end the opening quarter of play. Soccer scored first, courtesy of Brian Farber. Philip Lund answered on a back post tap-in for Tacoma. 15 minutes complete from Pachanga Arena, San Diego. Our score, 1-1. The Soccer's in the Stars on 11 Sports USA. Channel 933, it's Cabana Boychef in America's finest city. And there's one thing that everybody's talking about, and it's not the weather. It's the San Diego Soccer. This city deserves a championship. So I have this question. Who's it going to be? What team is going to step up? What player is going to become a superstar? Who is going to become a legend in this town? And that team is the San Diego Soccer. <laughs> San Diego, we need you. Are you with us? Let's do this. Califino Tequila. Treat yourself to the fino things in life. Hey, bartender. What's up, man? What do you have? You know, it's been a stressful day. Why don't you give me something with a little kick to it? I think I know what you need. Soccer's tickets? That'll hit the spot. Soccer's are awesome! 
The Sockers are awesome. On Friday, March 1st, the Sockers host the Turlock Express. It's a $2 Bud Light Friday night. All fans receive a new Sockers license plate frame. Get your tickets today. Call 866-799-GOLD or go online to sdsockers.com. The perfect fit. The game ball. Are you ready? Soccer Loco. Next level performance. The captain, Craig Childs, on the field, and you can see him with the whiteboard sketching things out, and Landon Donovan paying very close attention. We are tied 1-1, 15 minutes complete, ready for the start of second quarter action from Pachanga Arena, San Diego. Craig Elston, Nate Abarea, and our TBX video crew, capably directed by Ted Bendick. We are all here with you, along with the biggest crowd in Soccer's three history. We're going to find out that final number eventually, Nate, but I tell you what, the crowd just kept coming in, in, growing, growing all throughout the first 15 minutes. I think we might have everyone in the house now, but hey, still time. Come on down and enjoy the fun. Two teams switch directions. The Sockers will run left to right across your screen in this second quarter. The Stars will go right to left. It was a goal at 742 by Brian Farber. One touching in a Taylor Bond header assist. Tacoma answered on a tap-in on the back post at 11.20. Here's Leo looking for the ball. Pablo trying to pin it off. Looked like a handball, perhaps. That is not the call. They're going to give Tacoma the ball and call a foul on 11. Leo. Lunds now. They've got McCluskey sending it forward to Ramos. Ramos, nice spin of the ball. Serta reaching in with the foot, but Ramos still holds. Excellent possession by Michael Ramos. 15 points on the year in 12 games. Seven goals, eight assists. Opening minute of the second quarter. Shots currently 6-2 in favor of San Diego. And that doesn't count all the wide attempts. Serta offering a defensive challenge. Pablo room to get to midfield. De Silva. That pass, errant, right past Joseph Cairell, and the Sockers regain possession. Contreras to Gonzalez. Felipe. Now Juan Gonzalez on the field. Pardo touches it to Escoto. He was the live guest on Telemundo 20 here in San Diego prior to the match. Purdy made quite an impression, too. Pardo now on the Kaiser Permanente logo. Sends one looking for Escoto. Brandon tries for the bike. Just a bit high. At the bicicleta eyes. I think it like deflected. I think it did deflect in the end of it. Some oohs and ahs from the crowd, but Escoto wanted the deflection. And they're giving the goal throw to Sinaldo. Indeed. Landon back out and a little further up the field now, Landon Donovan. Hungry to get the goal. You talk about that shot stat, 6-2 as far as shots on goal in that first quarter. Three of them are off the feet of Landon Donovan. Two of them in the span of about a second and a half. Oh, I thought he was going to get that goal for sure. He had to. If not the first time, surely the second time. But credit to Sinaldo. Sinaldo Carvalho. Player filling in for one of the most recognizable goalkeepers in the league. Danny Waltman. Here is Sinaldo. Challenged by Donovan. He gave the ball away. Getting it out. Second minute, second quarter. Landon's got that face about him right now. I've seen it before. That added hunger, that light in the eyes. You can see it even from way up here. Bond playing target. Taylor let that ball get out ahead of him too far. He's coming off. Leo's coming back. I think Philip Lund's feeling right now. Just man marking Landon Donovan. Pereira. Oh. The footwork was fancy, but then Pino stepped in. Now Pereira's got it back. Soccer's are challenging high here. Have to be careful. Two on one if they could clean that pass. Lund to Keats. Keats stepping in. Pee-wee guards. Pee-wee touches. Good defense by Luis Pee -wee. Ortega. Go on, Pee-wee. This ball trying to lead Landon on the wall. Late Meanwhile, yeah, foul behind the play. will give the Soccer's the ball back. Leo looking for a card down there. 
I don't think Pee Wee was actually one of the soccer's players pleading for the card. He was just getting back up to his feet. Glad he got the foul call. It was a late challenge that took him out. Landon will find out if he's going to get a change right now or if he's just hanging out. He is indeed going to head back <laughs> to the bench right now. <laughs> Trying to stay out there as long as he can. And as you said, every time he leaves, he doesn't get far, far past the R or the O no. in Ron on Ron Newman Field. Right behind the door every time. I love it the hunger we're talking about so many people around the country and you're talking about media outlets like sports illustrated espn the biggest soccer journalist names in the game have been all over the scoop of the story since landon came out of retirement again to be a part of the soccer's team and for so long for the last week Pippen. or so ooh. Sent one into the box. Leo oh. pressuring sinaldo again sinaldo ranging again and leo took the ball from him Sonaldo's out there battling him for possession and coming away with it. Sonaldo, Sonaldo, Sonaldo. Entertaining. Certainly impactful on the night so far. Danny who? Leo. Danny Walton. Back door <laughs> looking for Walt for Pittman. Let's not get carried away. Yeah. I still remember his name. Here's Leo. Leo's got three around. Leo pulling and moving the ball, getting harassed and getting fouled. A strange one there with McCluskey throwing a bit of an elbow into his back. And he's saying that he was being helped by Leo. And McCluskey and Leo are <laughs> jawing back and forth right now. Leo just had the little look of, yeah, keep talking, pal. Yeah. But just finishing up on the Landon Donovan storyline, the people around the country just continually asking, is this serious? Is this for real? Landon really invested in this thing? Serda. Serda left foot. Oh. Serda to the right foot. Serda oh! scores! It doesn't get better. changed his number to give number nine to Landon Donovan. Gets his name up in lights with the 29 on his back. Sets off Santa. Gets the Sockers back in the lead. And the first person flying off the bench to give him a hug was Landon Donovan. Love that. Love that moment for Cesar Serda. And we see on the replay here, this was all Cesar. Oh. Cut back by Philip Lund and sent Lund to the carpet. Woo! Philip Lund, don't watch that again. Serva to the cleaners. 2-1. Score by number 29, Cesar Serda. Assisted by number five, Guerrero Pino. Time of the goal, 3:39. So the Sockers back on top, 2-1. to one. And Pino picking up the helper there. But how about Serda? Beautiful, just beautiful. A defender that can do that in the attacking zone? How about it? And number 29 ain't half bad, Cesar. Well, maybe that's the scorer's number, <laughs> you know? Here's Farber. Keats with the steal, chance for numbers. Landon has to step in defensively. Now he has to go to his right. It's Ramos, just wide! Missed by three inches, the equalizer. Peterson, back to Sinaldo. Well, Landon still learning the angles defensively. That was another good contribution right there. Just a little bit. Put the shooter off. It went wide in the end. A 1-2 play through midfield. Johnson to Scherf. And now forward Pereira. Contreras is going to sleep well tonight. Oh, Pereira just walked away from it. Shoots wide. Rebound loose. Knocked away. Contreras. Pereira with a boot out. To Megson wall pass. Looking to knock it down into the area. Brought back at Scharf. Scharf challenged and Peewee got a touch, but Pablo is there. Under 10 to play in the second quarter. 20 of our 60 minutes elapsed. 2-1 to one, San Diego. The go-ahead goal, Serda from Pino. At 3.39 of the second. Johnson back to Sinaldo. Pablo surveys. Pereira accepts. Contreras gets dumped. And Pereira gets called. By the way, we heard downstairs Vince McCluskey sitting on three fouls for Tacoma. One more would be an automatic blue card. And those foul counts, by the way, if you're new to the arena game, if Landon drew you in for the first time, they reset at halftime. 
Pereira now has three fouls as well. Into the middle. Leo tried to chest that one down, and Poyo will get a touch. He's in traffic. Scharf takes it away. So another foul on either Pereira or McCluskey would be a blue card against the Stars. Nice pass. Here's Juice just wow. wide. Poyo. We've got numbers for the Sockers. Escoto with Leo down the middle. Escoto waits. Tried to feed Leo. Blocked by Keats. Maybe a second late. Now Leo can jump up on this ball. Track it down. De Oliveira. Meg through Cox there. That was flashy. Off the boards to himself. Soccer's still in business here. Boyle. Sending Bond to the wall. Bond. Sharp angle. Wall pass. Gonzalez scores! First goal of the year for Juan Gonzalez. Second assist for Taylor Bond. And the Suckers are up 3-1. to one. Bond, I think, knew exactly what he was doing right there. Use those walls to your advantage. And Gonzalez, this time Juan Gonzalez, creeping in at the back post and from point blank, number 77, ain't missing that one. Gonzalez with his first goal of the year. He had five assists coming into the night. His brother, Felipe, with seven goals on the year. San Diego Suckers go! Score number seven and seven, Juan Gonzalez. Assisted by number two, Taylor Bond. Time of the goals is And the Suckers. As we hear Callum McClurg announce downstairs, enjoying their first multi-goal lead tonight. Under eight minutes to play in the second quarter now. Pablo being guarded by Bond. I'm excited to see the way Taylor's playing, getting an opportunity to play target with Craig Childs down and coming up with multiple assists. Kluski, dispossessed by Pino for the moment. And it's Kyrell, challenged. Serda is able to get a loose ball. Serda midfield, triple teamed. Now it's Kyrell working forward with McCluskey. Kyrell will do a little curly cue in offensive midfield and send it to the north wall and Keats. Now down to Ramos. Ramos angled left wing, sending it back, one-time shot! Partially deflected wide, Derek Johnson on the ball. Taylor Bond, by the way, multiple points for the second straight time against his old team, the Tacoma Stars. Johnson, off the high glass, still in play. Ramos tracks down, right in the middle of the red line. That's a foul on Felipe. Ramos reaches for the knee. He's back up. Struggling to get up, favoring that right leg. Common foul was called, not a blue on Felipe. I think that one was pretty close. Definitely. Right in a fine line right there. Nick Pereira knows Felipe very well. A little disagreement. Soccer seemed disorganized on this for a moment. Now they've got Sorted. a two-man wall. Pereira Ramos. That shot blocked by Serda. And into the crowd. 6.45 left in the second quarter. Officials timeout. Halfway through our second frame. The Suckers leading the Tacoma Stars 3-1 goals this quarter for Cesar Serda and Juan Gonzalez. Two defenders doing offensive work for San Diego. We'll take a break. We're back with more action from San Diego next on 11 Sports.
The Sockers have a great deal to bring your family out for our next game. The family four-pack for Corner Lodge tickets, hot dogs, and drinks for just $79. You see the resume of Landon Donovan there as he watches from the bench. Chance for the Stars. And Serda, his second block of the quarter. That denied Tacoma's second goal. Sockers thought there was a handball. Serda gets the steal. Gutierrez in the Scoto to Tijonense, pressing the attack. The Scoto looking for Gutierrez. Left corner. Gutierrez. Landon flipped it. Woo. Looking for the chip shot there. Landon might have actually been trying to play that back to Cristiano. I kind of thought he was. Yeah. Man, every time Donovan's out there, you can just tell the crowd's getting a buzz going. Not just from those $2 Bud Lights and $5 <laughs> margaritas. Sonaldo pressured again. Johnson, a touch for Contreras, but he couldn't lose possession away from the Stars. Boy, Sonaldo has just been put in the heater all night in terms of being forced to play the ball. Gutierrez had that shot, a pass blocked, but Serda was there as the outlet behind. Cesar Serda with a goal and a couple of blocks this corner. There's Escoto and Parma. Oh. Pino, so pretty. Here comes Pino. Guerrero scores! It's all Pino! He's got this place roaring in lusty abandon. 4-1 Sockers. Que viva Chihuahua, que viva the war here, Guerrero, Pino. Que golazo, my friend. Virtuoso cosmic kite through the pitch with ease. Taking on all comers. Guerrero Pino off the board to himself initially with that lovely dummy. And just taking it all on, putting it on his shoulders and saying, I'm making this baby 4-1. Humped up as he should be. 524 left here in the second period. Suckers opening up a three-goal lead. My goodness. We are seeing a different level right now. And we don't even have to hear this one because it's all Pino. We know it. Guerrero Pino does it all himself. That turn on the south wall. Now they, oh, Pardo gets an assist. Yes, yes. His first point of the year. Love that. Pardo picks up an offensive point. And the soccer's up by three. 25 complete in this match. Five remaining in the quarter. Centered by Scharf, but no one there but Ray Contreras. A clever touch for a moment, then just possessed from behind. It was Megson. Kyrell. Looking for the one-two, but it deflected off Pereira's foot. And now the Sockers see Leo bend one on the rush. Here's Felipe. Gonzalez stops the ball outside the red line. Serda being, make it peewee, being harassed. Sliding from behind, Gonzalez regains possession for San Diego. Contreras sends one looking for Leo. Leo heads it, moving it on for Pollo, who shoots, blocked away. Leo blocked again. Wide open, yawning goal mouth for Leonardo de Oliveira. But Keats was there for the block. Here's Escoto sending in Serda. Sinaldo comes out and plays the corner angle. Serda looking to continue to pressure, so is Pereira. Now Pittman steals, Pittman shoots! Too high. Always rising there from Pittman, but caught that with laces. Keeps that one low. How about this? The deep end starting a rhythmic clap, and it's got the whole arena going. Well, shades of Iceland at European Championships and World Cup 2018. A little Viking clap from the soccer's faithful. Should we be saying skull? <laughs> Foul on San Diego. I have not seen energy like this at an arena soccer match in 10 years. This is unbelievable what we are seeing here in San Diego tonight. Fans, come be a part of this. SDSoccers.com, 866-799-GOAL. Two weeks until our next match at home, March 1st. You got to come out and experience this for yourself. This is San Diego sports at a high level. This is what it's all about. This is Ron Newman Field in full effect. Hansen with a run. Hansen down low, it's Lund. Lund cuts it back. Hansen, his shot blocked by Pino, who's everywhere you need him to be. Almost saying, don't forget about us. We're not going away without a fight. 
Just lovely stuff from the Stars up the pitch there. The Soccer's back and sound defensively. Final three minutes of the first half. We'll be hearing from head coach Phil Salvaggio on the field to start our halftime show. And we'll be hearing from Commissioner Josh Schaub up in the booth. 45 left in the quarter. Pereira battling Pino. Little hand-checking match there. If it's on Pereira, no, it was not. Pereira tried for the quick restart, and Escoto came away with a steal for the moment. And look out, foul on Pereira. I believe that was on Pereira. If it is, it's a blue. It is. Pereira is shown the blue for four personal fouls. And that means the Sockers will all but close this period on a power play. Well, in match 13, it's the first time that we have seen a player for either the Sockers or their opponent put in the bin for four personal fouls and a half. But so much energy in this building, been a physical match on the field, and the Sockers now with a chance to take advantage. San Diego's power play, 25% in the air, 8 for 32, but getting better, 3 for their last 3. The Stars have allowed 11 power play goals in 19 tries against. And Landon Donovan on the field for this man advantage in the corner. Landon, back court! Score! Escoto! And Donovan opens his account with his first MASL assist! 5-1 Sockers, just like that! nothing period the Sox are on a roll and Landon Donovan has his first point in pro arena soccer we watch the replay for the easy finish Escoto waiting on the back post and Donovan with the presence of mind to find him right away Escoto's 18th of the year now to take the team lead free and clear and we will definitely be hearing from Callum McClurg downstairs to hear that name announced for the first time after the ball rolls at midfield. 2.24 to go. San Diego Soccer's goal! A power play goal scored by number 19, Brandon Escoto. Assisted by number 9, Landon Donovan. Time of the goal. Donovan's first assist. The Sockers have scored their last four power play goals in a row. And it's four straight for San Diego. Sinaldo the punch out. Headed back in the air. Contreras looking to turn and flick it with the head. Escoto trying for the wall pass and it wound up banging off his own body. And this Sockers team fired up and playing at a high level tonight. Boyo Ruiz. Boyo, as we count to the final 90. Gonzalez back to Pardo. Nate Abrea has gone downstairs for us. He'll be doing our field interview with Phil Salvaggio at the conclusion of the half. Gutierrez. Rolls it back. The Sockers possess and spread the field. It's Pollo and it's Pardo. Not allowed until the fourth quarter to cross midfield. A new MASL rule this year. Bond on the run. Gonzalez. Fell down, play on, they said. Probably the right call there. 29 done, final minute, second quarter. Double team and a foul on San Diego. Megson still on his back. And slow to get up. Well, injuries have taken their toll on Tacoma with Waltman out. Rafael Cox not available tonight as well. Some of the key contributors for the Stars, but when you have Pereira, you've always got a chance. And when you've got this much space, you have a chance. Here's Keats across three wall uh, lines. His shot easily stopped by Pardo. And it seemed like Keats got the worst of that at the end. Bond, two assists on the half. Sending it back, Sinaldo has it. The Sockers have shown an effective high pressure game in this opening 30 minutes. Sinaldo. Remember, Landon Donovan, the U.S. men's national team all-time assists leader. He's got a ways to go to set the mark for San Diego in the MASL. One and a half, not a bad start. And 
Pereira didn't have much time in the bench on the penalty box, just 12 seconds before the soccer score. Kyrell. Lund. A flying Walenda, and he gets the call. Crowd with a bit of a boo on that one as Lund went flying. Donovan watches. Craig Childs talking to him. I think he just asked, am I going to have another shift? <laughs> Childs said, nine seconds left. Now nah, you're good. Well, this is a dangerous free kick with just 9.7 seconds left. Here's Pereira. He'll take it and he'll have it blocked. Leonardo de Oliveira with the blocked shot. 7.1 seconds left in the quarter. Kyrell, little stutter step. One, two, too long. That's how the half comes to an end. The Sockers with a dominant second quarter. Four goals. Serra, Juan Gonzalez, Guerrero Pino. And then the soccer said, maybe we shouldn't have all of our defense score. Let's get a forward involved. Brandon Escoto on the power play from Landon Donovan. The Sockers lead it 5-1 to one at the conclusion of the second quarter and took four shots in the second to just one for San Diego, making our two-period shot total 10-3. to three. Farber, Cerda, Juan Gonzalez, Guerrero Pino, Escoto with Donovan getting the assist on the power play. Philip Lund answers for Tacoma. And at the half, our score is 5-1 to one San Diego. We are standing by to head down to the field with Nate Abrea and head coach Phil Salvaggio. And if they're ready, we're ready for them. Nate Abarea down here pitch side with soccer head coach Phil Salvaggio. Phil, as much energy as this team's shown all year in that first half. Your thoughts? Uh, it's a great first half. So we couldn't ask for anything better right now. Great crowd. Donovan getting an assist. I mean, this is great. Speaking to the crowd, you've been around this organization a long time. What does this energy in the building mean to you right now? Uh, it feels like a playoff game. It feels like a final game, to tell you the truth. But it's great. We're, we're going to come out. we still got another half to play, so we got to get back in the locker room. Thanks for your time. Good luck in the second half, Coach. Thank you. Back upstairs to you, Craig. Thank you very much, Nate. We go to the halftime break. We'll hear from Commissioner Josh Schaub next on 11 Sports 5-1 Soccer is the lead at halftime. in America's finest city, and there's one thing that everybody's talking about, and it's not the weather. It's the San Diego Soccer. This city deserves a championship, so I have this question. Who's it gonna be? What team is gonna step up? What player is gonna become a superstar? Who is going to become a legend in this town? And that team is the San Diego Soccer. <laughs> San Diego, we need you. Are you with us? Let's do this.
We are back live. It is halftime at Pechanga Arena, San Diego. The San Diego Sockers with a 5-1 to one lead over the Tacoma Stars. It's Landon Donovan night. We've got the biggest crowd in soccer's history. And we've got the commissioner, Josh Schaub, joining us here live on 11 Sports USA and Twitch. Commissioner, we've been waiting three weeks for this night. I don't want to say it's surpassed expectations so far, but this crowd is electric. Electric crowd. Obviously, San Diego produces a great crowd atmosphere general when they come here. Now, obviously, tonight I sense there's a lot of first-time fans, first-time arena fans coming here, so they're feeling out the game, sensing it a little bit, and hopefully we're creating the lifelong fans. Landon Donovan brings so much to the MASL. He has now scored. He's got an assist on his official account, but the word that really comes to my mind is credibility. Yeah, credibility, and obviously I think what you see in this game, and maybe what the crowd's feeling too, and I've heard it from observers that Landon was going to come out and dominate. This yeah. is a different game, right? right? And you're seeing that out there. You're seeing maybe a sense of where he's going to be, where he's not going to be. We saw the same thing from Dwayne D. Rosario when he first started playing up in Mississauga. Um, I think that's good for our sport to realize that we have some pretty good players out here, and I'm, I would be remiss if I didn't mention we're missing Danny Waltman and Craig Childs in this game tonight, Absolutely. two of stars of this sport for the last 10 years. You know, Josh, uh, being with Landon at training, one of the things that he has made a point in his media interviews to say is he didn't realize just how high the level of talent in the Major Arena Soccer League is. I mean, he's out there learning as much as he is trying to compete. Yeah, so th like I said, it's a different game, and there's different skill sets that fit this game. And I'll, I'll go back to an open letter we drafted the U.S. Soccer two years ago telling them that the indoor game, in fact, could be used to develop the outdoor player. On the plane ride over here, I actually saw a documentary that was talking about a, a study in Germany that looked at the German national team and found that players making it to the German national team didn't play with a lot of structure when they were younger. It was actually open play. As a relative piece, I think looking at the indoor game and seeing that there's different aspects of the indoor game that will lend to the outdoor game should be looked at seriously, and hopefully Landon can uh, prove that out. What are you seeing in terms of a halo effect for other major arena soccer league clubs? Obviously, we know in division, we've already heard the stories about Tacoma selling big for their March 31st game when Landon's coming April 4th uh, when he travels to Ontario. But just what have you heard overall as someone who's obviously interacting with all 17 clubs in the sure. MASL in terms of the reaction to this move? Well, I'm going to speak just generally from the league office. We've actually heard from a lot of investors. Looking for teams in our league, looking to invest in teams in our league. A lot of those are outdoor owners that are seeing our product on TV now. Because it's not just Landon Donovan. It's the national TV deal, the regional sports deals. We're now being seen, obviously, on OTT distribution. So I think the exposure we're getting from all of those pieces has lent to investment. And also, just in general, uh, ticket sales. And even before Landon Donovan, through week four of the MASL, ticket sales were up 27% in terms of revenue across the board. Beautiful. We were just watching the crowd go crazy for Rob Machado, the uh, famous pro surfer in San Diego, and netting in our celebrity halftime game that you are seeing simultaneous. One more question for you, Commissioner Josh Schaub, joining us here on Halftime on 11 Sports USA. Looking ahead to the playoffs, just how do you feel uh, the league is, is shaking out so far this year? I know last year we talked about it being kind of a top-heavy league. Are you seeing uh, the middle class start to rise up more? Yeah, and, and I don't really like to term it middle class, but I do like parity, right? Yeah, and, yeah. And the better way to put it is, is the outcome of the game always in doubt? When, we when our fans, MASL fans, show up to a game, do you believe your team can beat the other team on the, any given night? That's what we need, and I think we're seeing more of that throughout the league. Commissioner, thank you so much for making the trip out here. We with the Sockers are very appreciative to have your presence here tonight and to join us on this historic evening. The pleasure's all over here. Thank you very much. That's Commissioner Josh Schaub joining us up in the booth. They are having so much fun down on the field in the celebrity halftime match, which only slightly resembles kindergarten soccer. <laughs> and when we come back, we'll take a look at the MASL Plays of the Week. It's halftime. It's 5-1 San Diego on LD in SD. Knight Donovan with a first half assist and the Sockers with a four-goal lead. Back on 11 Sports. Welcome to the MASL Plays of the Week. Here's the best of the action from week now. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're getting ready to start the third quarter in San Diego. It's 5-1. to one. The Soccer's lead to the Tacoma Stars. Player head coach Nick Pereira is joining us down on the field. Nick, it's got to be exciting for every player to be in an atmosphere this electric here with the kind of crowd that we have tonight. Yeah, wonderful crowd, and obviously uh, really great to see the kind of support that the Soccers are getting, so it's great for the league, great for everyone, yeah. Late, uh, the Soccers have been using a lot of high pressure against your club in the first half. What adjustments are you looking to make in the third quarter? Well, if I tell you, that, then there's not much surprise for the second half, is there? Uh, no, they're pressing very well, they're athletic, and, and obviously they, they know what they're doing up there, so we've just got to be calm, break them down little by little, and try and keep the ball as much as possible. Nick, congrats, uh, good luck in the second half. Thank you, thanks, Craig. That's head coach Nick Pereira of the Tacoma Stars. Five to one, San Diego. Has Welcome the back inside Pachanga Arena, San Diego. Huge thank you. My broadcasting colleague, Craig Elston, and Tacoma Stars player coach, Nick Pereira, for bringing you that halftime coverage. My name is Nate Abarrea. Pleasure and a privilege to be with you here this evening. San Diego Soccers enjoying a 5-1 lead right now against the visitors from the Pacific Northwest. A historic occasion here in San Diego this evening. The debut of Landon Donovan, a historic night for the Major Arena Soccer League. Night of history for everybody taking part. And there's soccer media from all over the United States covering this one in person here this evening. Heard the commissioner, Joshua Schaub, on our halftime show. Huge thank you to everybody from the Major Arena Soccer League offices for their help over the last few weeks. Some of the biggest news this league's ever had. Hit the papers and websites and video screens of all those major networks we spoke of earlier and here on 11 Sports USA. It's your home for MASL action this evening. The night of LD and SD. It's not just a hashtag anymore. It's reality. Landon Donovan, 30 minutes in the books here in his soccer's debut. One assist that came on that power play, assisting Brandon Escoto. 
And Escoto. Not the fifth goal of the night for San Diego. Landon Donovan would love to get his first goal in a soccer's uniform. And you see him right there with the number nine on his back. One of the most recognizable names and faces in the history of soccer in North America. Certainly in these United States. There is no name with a better track record, more prestige attached to the name on the back of the kit than that man wearing the number nine for the San Diego Soccers here in this 2018-19 Major Arena Soccer League campaign. He coaches the San Diego Soccers, the last to return to the pitch. Some last minute instructions are being shared between Raimundo Contreras and Landon Donovan, a laugh shared between the two, and we are at last underway here in the third quarter. Soccers five, Tacoma one. My name is Nate Abaurea alongside Craig Elston here on 11 Sports USA. Great to be with you. A Friday night in America's finest city. Hope you're enjoying this one wherever and however you're taking it in. Soccers pick it up on a giveaway as Serva works it back to Raimundo Contreras. Landon Donovan is tucked away here on this near side along the Kaiser Permanente logo. Now switches sides as Leo takes that unoccupied space. Leonardo de Oliveira to Landon Donovan. Donovan back to Leo. Leo heels back to Raimundo Contreras. Contreras forward to Landon. Landon has it knocked away but gets it right back. Two-man game with Escoto tucked against the boards. Landon, they've committed a foul there, may have gotten away with one as the Soccers continue to possess. It was McCluskey ever so frustrated out there. No call again. This time a shot from distance goes wide of Boris Bardo's net, but it's a bad giveaway and a desperate lunge of a challenge from Contreras. And McCluskey can't believe that a foul wasn't called. One of the officials went to the deck in that moment of chaos there. Bodies flying all around and on cue, Cesar Cerda says, everybody calm down, deep breath. Taylor Bond back with it now and on cue, bodies fall again. Yeah. And this time the foul to go against Pee Wee down there. Okay. She was Pollo. Very curious to see what Nick Pereira does to try and defuse the soccer's high pressure, which I thought was the real key to the first 30 minutes. Almost a little taste of the Gegen press. You get a page out of Jurgen Klopp's book, the soccer's in that first half. There were times where they looked like about Liverpool sides of present day or old Dutch sides of late 1970s. They were pressing forward, morphing the outdoor game to the indoor game, the high press with all five players forcing the mistake and working together to pounce on any errant pass from Tacoma as they tried and tried they did and successful at times of possessing out of the back and not panicking in those situations. Here's Pereira flicking through to the run of Peterson. Troy Peterson has it knocked away by Guerrero Pino. Score of an absolute golazo back in quarter number two, the goal that made it 4-1. Scotto got his name up in lights. An assist from Landon for goal five. Serda works it back over to Pino. Pino, if you're just joining us, that goal in the second quarter, a thing of beauty. Dummied it off the wall to himself, made a defender slip, and then dribbled almost half the length of the field and toe poked home from distance. One of the best goals that we've seen from any soccer's player here this season. Goal number four on the night. San Diego here this evening. Two and a half minutes gone here in this third quarter. Again, Nate Abarea and Craig Elston with you on 11 Sports USA national TV coverage of the Soccers and the Stars. This Friday night Major Arena Soccer League affair. All the hype, all the talk. It was about one man coming into this contest. His name is Landon Donovan. The Soccers have had five different goal scorers in this game. Landon got an assist on one of them. Foul against Tacoma. And is by isn't Derek that typical, Johnson. Nate? The Soccers have been a balanced scoring team all year. I mean, you look to Childs, you look to Escoto with 18 and 17 goals respectively, but this is a team that regularly will feature seven, eight, nine different goal scorers in a game. Kiwi Ortega here, slow to get off after that foul. And he's one of the players who's had a terrific match and looks to be favoring the right leg for the moment. 
but it does not appear like he's coming off the field. Well, now he will. It's a bounce there as we're trying to find Bond and Tacoma get us back underway into the fourth minute of this third quarter. Pereira in space. Pereira one-time pass was high. Trying to find Philip Lund, the scorer of the only Tacoma goal of the night. A goal that it should be said brought the score to 1-1 back in the first quarter. But here comes Taylor Bond. Flicks through for Escoto. Brandon Escoto can't get to it. Bond thought he might have been fouled late there. No whistle ever came. And Tacoma try to possess out the back with Cox. Cox being chased down by Travis Pittman. Pittman never giving up. Relentless. Pittman may have committed a handball there, but he Finds the ball at his feet now, works it back to Juan Gonzalez. All the way over, Raimundo Contreras now. Contreras to Cristian Gutierrez, who could not Velcro that first touch <laughs> the way he intended. Long ball forward up that left side. McCluskey, McCluskey and Contreras again going at it. Contreras getting under the skin of these Tacoma players. Certainly Carrera seems as such. Yeah, when you're getting under the skin of the player coach. Because he speaks for everyone. Back with Boris Pardo now. Is he a major arena soccer league MVP candidate? Boris Pardo? We think that's a rhetorical question. Folks around the league really beginning to take notice. Here's nice Landon steal. Donovan. Landon Donovan with the left foot. Save Sonaldo. Donovan again stopped by Sonaldo. Donovan almost had it. Waiting for it to come back. We're waiting for that first goal for Landon Donovan in a San Diego Soccer's uniform. It almost came there. Four times tonight, Sonaldo has thwarted Landon. Gonzalez, this time it's Felipe. Felipe peels all the way back to his brother. The twin in his own half as Donovan creeps forward towards the Tacoma red line. Being marked down there by Peterson. Walkers continue to possess around the back as five minutes of a lap here in this third quarter. Boris Pardo with it now. No goals here in this third quarter, but certainly a bit of an ebb and flow. Been fun to watch. Here's Leo. Trip. Surely tripped. And the foul is going to be whistled. And is there time for soccer's to catch their breath here and work a little set piece magic off of the training ground? Is someone just going to blast one at the boards and see what happens. It's played short. It's Serva. Donovan at the top of the arc. Back with Escoto right now. A little bit of fancy footwork. Now clips towards that right corner. And Leonardo de Oliveira. Leo fighting back. Player just slipped for Tacoma. It was Keats. Now up the wing. It goes off the boards for McCluskey. McCluskey switches the point of attack. Gets it to Troy Peterson. Peterson to Pablo De Silva, who started this game and probably of any of the starters for either side has played the least. He's back out there right now with the number 80 on his back. Cries of a handball from folks in attendance against Ramos. Ramos fighting now with Escoto. Landon Donovan back there. Hassel him defensively. Tacoma still have it. Driven shot, deflected. Off the glass high, down to Pereira. Pereira flicks back in. Leo chases down. Soccers can counter if they hurry. Beautiful. Escoto through. Escoto save. Rebound off the wall. Leo. Back over to Serva. Landon Donovan back to the bench for now. Leo Ooh. tries to, I beg your pardon, Escoto tried to flick through on the one two with Ruiz. Coming up on eight and a half minutes left here in this third quarter. No goals here in this third period. Out here, it's Kyrell. What a save there by Pardo. Acrobatic stuff. Best of the night. From the soccer's netminder. Indeed, I think so. Boris Pardo hasn't had too many highlight real opportunities really in this game. Certainly did there. Made the best of it. Made the save he needed to. Pereira tries to use the wall to his advantage. Rolled away from he and Pino. And now Leo's going to be back defensively. He's going to bounce out to Pino. Now Gonzalez. Just clearing his lines. Under eight minutes remaining here in this third quarter. Locked to 11 Sports USA as Taylor Bond almost had himself locked into a scoring opportunity. 1v1 with Sonaldo, but instead it's a long ball forward flicked on by Pereira. Lower the shoulder by Kyrell, no call. Pereira was waiting for it in acres, a space in the center. It never came to him. Tacoma continue on this attack. Here's Nick Pereira. 
Nick Pereira onto his right foot. You know he wants to shoot. The nifty footwork straight off the sand into the arena. Pereira still with it. Mr. Beach Soccer, Mr. Football Rapido says, I'm going to play it safe as the player coach. Maintain possession for my side. They're down four goals, the Tacoma Stars. Next goal in this game would be one of those real important ones. We're talking competitive juices for Tacoma reignited or home stretch scene cruise control for the San Diego Sockers if they can get the six. Mm, lovely buildup. Good stuff from Tacoma here. Pereira off the glass. The tracking back down there by Pee Wee Ortega. Ruiz flips forward. Gonzalez giving chase. Sonaldo off his line. Oh, Felipe gets to it. Felipe puts it high. Aramba. Felipe puts it high at the empty net. Sonaldo thought there was a handball. Simeon called on the pitch. And we're going to take it to break here on 11 Sports USA. Your score here with 640 left in the third quarter. It's Soccer's 5, Stars 1. We're back after this. Fino Tequila. Treat yourself to the Fino things in life. Great. It was quick and easy. All four times. That's the Cal Coast Advantage. San Diego's number one hit music station, Channel 933. It's Cabana Boy Jeff in America's finest city. And there's one thing that everybody's talking about, and it's not the weather. It's the San Diego Soccer. This city deserves a championship. So I have this question. Who's it going to be? What team is going to step up? What player is going to become a superstar? Who is going to become a legend in this town? And that team is the San Diego Soccer. <laughs> San Diego, we need you. Are you with us? Let's do this. Welcome back inside Pachanga Arena, San Diego, 11 Sports USA's coverage of the San Diego Soccers and the Tacoma Stars, Landon Donovan's. Football Rapido debut here in the Major Arena Soccer League. Tacoma getting us back underway. Nate Abrea and Craig Elston with you here as the Soccers continue with the high press. And Pittman gets it back for San Diego. Donovan currently on the bench for the home side. An injury update to bring you here momentarily. The next break in the action is Serva presses forward for San Diego. Pittman gets it back for the Soccers. Terrific Pittman work. Tucked in the board. Workhorse down there. Pereira though. He has glue. Those shins and feet of his. Tight spaces up against the boards. Gets it back for his team and the player coach creeps forward. Asking for a long ball but the high press doesn't allow it. Tacoma are going to have to work it out of the back and work it out the back. They do. Look out here. It's a chance. It's Pereira. That's like shooting fish in a barrel for Tacoma and the player coach gets his side right back in this game. Soccer's five, Tacoma two. Nick Pereira gets Tacoma to double their tally on the night, and they trail now by just three. Well, the Soccer's have been so involved in that high pressure. Here's how you break it. You get three guys behind the defense. You get a two-on-one, and you get yourself as easy a goal as Nick Pereira has scored all year. That's the direct reflection of all the effort in the attacking third on defense for San Diego. You keep pressing, you keep pressing. Every once in a while, that gamble is going to backfire on you, and it certainly did there as Nick Pereira clears his 16th goal of the year. That was textbook play out of the back there. Calm stuff from Tacoma. That high press was in full effect for San Diego. Here's Gonzalez near the center circle to his twin brother. Juan to Felipe in the corner. Landon Donovan. Donovan defended on his back is Troy Peterson. Landon almost rolls his ankle there and instead as it knocked away, Donovan still fighting down there. Leo fighting as well. No foul ever comes. Sonaldo holds. That injury update, Craig. 
Brian Farber will not return to tonight's match, Nate. He strained a hamstring in the second quarter, so look to see more of Donovan Poyo at all in the midfield because Farber is down for the rest of the night. Tacoma continue to press forward, looking for their third goal of the night. Herrera off the glass. The ball still down there as far as Pardo's going to collect. We have another update. 8,492 tonight. And Nintendo. here's Escoto trying to give all those people something to cheer about. Looking for his second goal of the night. Bring that stat to you again because it is a marvelous one for the San Diego Soccers and for this league as a whole. Play Escoto on. wanted a call. So did Tacoma. Now the whistle's going to come, I think, for a possible blow to the head for the Tacoma player. Looked like Keats down there taking the brunt of that challenge. Keats looks to be okay. Craig, can you bring us that number one more time? That's 8,492, Mr. Abarea. That is the biggest crowd in Soccer's three history by 1,100 and change. Not bad. We were hoping for 8,500. Let's just call it 8,500. <laughs> what do you say? Marvelous. Simply marvelous. So the soccer's doing this good work here tonight, but without Craig Childs, now Brian Farber, you're talking about probably the two best veteran minds in terms of knowing the game. Yeah. So soccer's have their expertise on the bench, but not on the field. Wide open. Oh, it's a big chance for Tacoma. Boris Pardo in a precarious position there. Knocks it off the boards to Bond. Bond going at it down there. A couple of knocks after the ball had gone away from Scharf. Bond made a run all the way up. Is this one going to bounce off the boards for Escoto? No, right into the seventh man. Tacoma want the quick restart. Escoto saying, I'm not having it. Eleven minutes have elapsed here in this third quarter into the twelfth of this period. Soccer's five, stars two. Bond has it in the center circle, knocked away by Pereira. Nick Pereira, player coach, former San Diego soccer. All at the feet of Pablo da Silva now. Pablo creeping forward up the right side for Tacoma. Good step up defensively by Poyle. Ruiz, body to the floor, no call. Escoto slamming the ground, and the foul calls from all the way. Now comes from all the way across the pitch. Interesting there, and that's what the Tacoma players are upset about. The official nearest did not make the call. The one all the way on the opposite side. You know, the MASL has a new podcast, the official MASL podcast. I've heard about this. Available on Spreaker and soon on every podcast platform. I spoke to the director of officials for the MASL, Ryan Sigich, two weeks ago, Nate, and he actually brought that up specifically. That's a, a point of emphasis for the officials. Even in the close one, it's whoever gets the better angle. Yeah. The better visual angle on the play. Doesn't matter proximity. That's a really good point. Sometimes you think, hey, the guy far away is making the call. Shouldn't the guy closer be making the call? Sometimes the angle that the guy way across the pitch has. It's not that big of a field. This is still arena soccer we're talking about, so angles can't be too bad from anywhere for any referee. It's good stuff. The officials working as a unit here tonight and every night in the Major Arena Soccer League. Under three minutes remaining here in this third quarter. The soccers have not scored in the third quarter. What on earth is going on? It's not how it works. Here comes Michael Look Ramos. Out. Oh, off the boards and smothered by Boris Pardo. Landon Donovan is creeping back to the pitch. He's ready to climb over the boards and hop back in. He wants back on. Here's Raimundo Contreras. Contreras, Contreras. Pittman. Goal! Goal! Contreras suckers him in and knocks it off slyly to Pittman, who picked his spot and roofed it past Sonaldo, 6-2 San Diego. The step over, but the key was the angle for Contreras, continuously pushing to the middle to draw the defense away. That allowed Pittman to his favorite spot, that low right-hand corner. That's where Pittman has scored so far three of his five goals this season. And for Travis Pittman, the man who probably leads the Soccers in work rate, hustle, Humility and teamwork ethic. Beautiful to see his name in lights tonight. It was Travis Pittman.
scored by number 18, Travis Pittman. Assisted by number three, Raimundo Contreras. Contreras with the assist. Foul whistled, I think, against Landon Donovan down there. Well, it's a first for everything, including fouls. Still waiting for the first goal, but we have the first foul oh. in Major Arena Soccer League on Landon Donovan. We've come pretty close to that first <laughs> Donovan goal. Four times Sonaldo has stopped Landon Donovan. Four big saves. Here's Nick Pereira. Wow! wow. Que golazo! Player, coach, turning on to the right foot. And he does that as well as anyone in this league. It don't matter if it's indoors, outdoors, or on the beach. That's a thing of beauty from the Tacoma player coach, Craig Elston. Off the overlapping run. The overlapping run forces the defense to not double Pereira. And Nick Pereira, singled, is going to be one of the most potent scorers in the MASL. And he does it again. Two goals this quarter. 150 now remaining. That goal with 154 left. Scored by Pereira. Two goals for Nick Pereira here in this third quarter. Three goals total here in this third period. Two of them from Tacoma climbing back into this game. The visitors from the Pacific Northwest. Pardo was trying to find Taylor Bond. Tacoma get us back underway. Well, now, next goal again. A very big one. Here's Sonaldo. To Nick Pereira, his coach, also his teammate. Sonaldo. This time to the back tracking Derek Johnson. Again, Sonaldo. The ball back with Sonaldo again. Wall pass to Sonaldo seems to be a theme of this 14th minute. Landon Donovan flicks with the head off the boards. Now battling with Pereira down there. Landon. Orson Pereira be tucked in. Pereira rainbows his way out of it. Gorgeous stuff and a saving challenge there from Cerda as we're under a minute left here in this third quarter. Flipped up by Pardo. Pino, Ooh. awkward collision there. And Pino being accused of a stamp by Philip Lund. Referee's not hearing it. And what's going on here? They want Philip Lund. The fans want Philip Lund punished for that outburst that we just saw. Well, Pino was coming in with a high boot right there, and... It's a bench warning, Craig. Yeah. Stars get a bench warning for their complaint, but I think they had at least a valid gripe. Valid gripe, but the whistle did not go their way. It's a coma. On the back foot now for these last 40 seconds. Trying to keep this deficit at three. The Sockers looking for seventh heaven. Serla gets it back to Landon Donovan. Donovan pressing forward across the Kaiser Permanente logo. Still Landon Donovan poked away. Coming up on 20 seconds left here in this third quarter. I think Donovan's going to get the rest of this quarter. Try to hunt one. Sockers have got to get the ball back for him, though. They do. Donovan slows things down, as does Escoto. Landon is actually going to head to the bench. Here's Escoto pressing forward. Knocked away by Pereira. Back heel flick. Holding your breath for a collision there. Escoto flicks forward to the left foot. Three seconds, two, one. And the horn sounds. 45 minutes in the books here in San Diego. Your score at halftime was 5-1 in favor of the Sockers. Your score at the end of three. It's San Diego 6, Tacoma 3. We're back after this on 11 Sports USA.
Radio's number one hit music station, Channel 933. It's Cabana Boy Jeff in America's finest city. And there's one thing that everybody's talking about, and it's not the weather. It's the San Diego Soccer. This city deserves a championship. So I have this question. Who's it going to be? What team is going to step up? What player is going to become a superstar? Who is going to become a legend in this town? And that team is the San Diego Soccer. <laughs> San Diego, we need you. Are you with us? Let's do this. San Diego six, Tacoma three. Your score as we get ready for fourth quarter action at Pachanga Arena, San Diego, Nate Abrea and Craig Elston. Here with you on 11 Sports USA and the Soccers and the Flex 4-Pack. It's the way to go. The Flex 4-Pack is the most convenient deal and best value for fans with busy schedules. You can pick any four games on the remaining schedule and get the same great seat for all four games, plus 15% off at the Soccers merchandise booth and priority pre-sale for playoff tickets. Flex 4-Packs, they start as low as $52. You heard me correctly. Flex 4-Packs starting as low as $52. Get yours today at sdsoccers.com. The halftime score saw the Soccers with a four-goal lead. Five to their credit. One to the visitors in white from the Pacific Northwest. Nick Pereira, the player coach, netted a brace in that third period. The Soccers got one through Travis Pittman. Brings to the score where it stands at this moment. The San Diego Soccer six. The Tacoma Stars three. 15 minutes remaining here at Pachanga Arena, San Diego. 11 Sports USA is where you got it locked to. And to take you the rest of the way with the play-by-play, -play, I give you Craig Elston. Thank you very much. Great job, Nate Abarea, in the third quarter. 15 minutes separate the Soccers from their 11th straight win. In front of the biggest crowd in Soccer's three history of just a tick under 8,500 here at Pachanga Arena, San Diego. Soccer's going left to right. Here's an opportunity for Pollo. He is bracketed. Gets the ball back. Well touched back to Contreras for a long boomer. Touched by Sinaldo wide. Megson trying to dig his way out. Pee Wee kicked it over the short wall into the crowd. What have you seen from Landon Donovan tonight, Nate? I've seen four shots on goal, all four of them saved rather spectacularly by Sinaldo. Landon's been quality tonight. Landon's been hungry tonight. And believe you me, he's still quite hungry right now. This is still a close enough game where the Soccers need a seventh goal. And if it could come from number nine, it would be what everybody came to see, a Soccers win and a Landon goal. Juan Gonzalez is going to play it back to Boris Pardo. Nick Pereira netting twice in the third quarter to make this a match again. Travis Pittman in between made sure it's not too much of a match. Still with a three-goal lead. Here's Escoto looking for this long ball. Handball. No, out of bounds. This is a defensive clearance off of Kyrell's toe. And it's going to be the first top-of-the-arc free kick for San Diego tonight. Now look out for LD and SD right here. This has got to be something work for Landon Donovan. Plain and simple. Or maybe he's the greatest decoy in soccer's history. Escoto will stand on top. This is where you miss Craig Giles. Escoto. Donovan. Oh. Shot blocked. <laughs> Had a feeling it was coming his way. You know the soccer's share in the crowd of 8,500's dreams, Nate. <laughs> the soccer's want Donovan to score. Of course, of the course. The players want Donovan to score. Here's a steal, and here's a break the other way. Three on two. Donovan has to be the man tracking back to the back post. Pardo makes the save on the front post and Lunds in the middle of the goal. Here comes Pee Wee now the other way. Ortega sending Escoto into the right corner. Escoto fouled as he walled off his man. Soccer's get a right corner kick now. So if Donovan thought he could take it easy and alternate shifts with Brian Farber in the second half, Farber not available. Now they're really looking to land him. To the top, 
Pino. Leo. Pino. Steps and shoots. Wow. Crushes the frame. What did that? And it went out of play. What did that even do? I think it bent the top frame <laughs> no. so that it could ricochet out of play. I'm, I'm speaking science physics curiosity right now because I think that's exactly what happened, Craig. Hit that so hard it bent the glass right there and then went into the net. There they with a physical challenge. Trying to fight off Sharp and make it Johnson. Craig Giles, the, the injured Craig Giles, soon to be returning Craig Giles, hopefully. He's known for one of the hardest shots in the MASL. Guerrero Pino ain't too far behind. Here's Leo. Leo going to work. Donovan figures out he needs to head toward the net. Pino trying to send it into the air to LD. Sinaldo punches it down. And then smartly, Johnson went to a knee so that Sinaldo could grab the ball with his hands. 12-38 remaining in the fourth quarter. 6-3 San Diego with the lead. A four-goal second quarter. The difference right now. Also the difference, the soccer's scoring from the back line. Goals from defenders, Cerdo, Juan Gonzalez, and Guerrero Pino tonight. Here's the run by Jamel Cox. Cox into the middle and kicked off the line. Pino second chance score. Two goal game as Troy Peterson cleans up the mess. And look out, San Diego's still got work to do. Absolutely still got work to do. That's back-to-back -back goals for the visitors. That's a three-to-one run since halftime. Helping Zacoma to climb back into this contest. 12-17 remaining here in this ball game. As Boris Pardo thought the Sockers had cleared their lines. We're going to get a quick chance to see the ultimate finish here. After a bit of chaos, picking his spot, Troy Peterson doing it beautifully. Tacoma trailing by just two goals now with plenty of time left on the night. Deflected off of Sinaldo's foot by Pee Wee there. Trying for a rip. Here's a pinball. Felipe brings it down to Ortega. Pee Wee DeBond, who has two assists in the first half. If you're just joining us, Landon Donovan's MASL debut. He had a power play assist in the second quarter on what is currently the game-winning goal. Yeah. Escoto from Donovan to make it 5-1. 6-4 is the lead for San Diego. Lots of time remaining. Good step up and steal. This is Felipe Gonzalez. Back to Pee Wee. Pee Wee to Felipe. Needs the second touch. Had to go to the left foot and it went high. Gorgeous two-man football from the Sockers. Peewee and Gonzalez saying, we don't need everybody else, just you and me, lad. Almost side to side, back and forth. You thought it was going to end up in the back of the net. Gonzalez, a little bit of panic there, set off just enough by the Tacoma defense. This crowd is feeling a little bit more antsy than it used it to. It does have that kind of nervous hush almost descending over the arena right now. Oh, what a goal could do for everybody. Soccer's are back to that high pressure. Yeah. It worked for them so well in the first quarter. That's an easy foul to call. And then in the third quarter, the, so the Stars diffused it and got the Soccer's out of that press for a short while. 11-11. 11 in the fourth and the two goal lead for the Sockers. Make a wish. Hard run on the turn. Ramos. Felipe staying with him. Ramos shoots! Oh, One-handed save! Boris Pardo! Back to the middle. Back to Johnson. His shot blocked Contreras. Bond tried to sidewall pass it out of harm's way. Look out, Ramos cleared away that, by Pittman. That, Craig, is one of the most difficult saves in any soccer goalkeeper's task book right there. Already committing. Look out, wide open. Ramos tried for the extra pass. Ooh. Serda kicks it over the top of his head. Lucky for it to short hop the wall and not be a defensive clearance. But getting back to that save again from Boris Pardo. Already committing low to a corner and having that deflection then take it high and back to the center of the goal. Reach it back with one strong paw to keep that thing out. MVP candidate, Boris Donovan Pardo. Donovan wanted to make the run. <laughs> well he done, Landon. challenges Landed. and uh, manages to get the ball loose. Now Sinaldo far afield. 
will kick the ball high in the air. Yes. Juice Cox. Saw Serda come away with it. Donovan will play it back. Five minutes off the fourth quarter clock. 50 complete, the final 10 now. Six to four, San Diego leads. That call on Gutierrez. We'll give the ball back to the Stars. This is again, great exchange between Raimundo Contreras and Landon Donovan. Ray was looking at Landon saying, go up. Landon saying, calm down, I got this under control. I'm working on my defensive shape and defensive positioning. I know what I'm doing. Gutierrez was out of shape. Now here comes the long run. Contreras blocks a likely goal. I mean, that's as good as a goal. That's as good as a goal, Craig. There's a goal-saving challenge from Contreras, and he's rightfully chewing out his teammates right now. As that run went all the way up the pitch. Kind of shocking, Coma. to tell you the truth. Yeah, now Tacoma are going to have this from the corner. Soccer's not out of the woods just yet. Megson's on the back post. Pereira will take the right corner kick. Megson, Contreras has to mark it. Megson comes around. Ball oh. dummied through, and Serda is able to take possession for the moment. But that pass is going to lead much too far for Christian to track it down. Leo back in the field. Nine and a half to go. 6-4 San Diego. Pereira in the middle. That pass eluded its target. Serda wasn't looking for it at first. Oh. Pereira runs it away from Landon. Pereira. Beautiful. Landon unimpressed. No foul. No foul. Oh. <laughs> Number two in the Major Arena Soccer League for Landon Donovan. Well, all the kids have come to join the deep end now, and we've got ourselves a packed supporters section going wild. What I really appreciated about that last moment was Landon Donovan getting up in disgust about that foul call against him. Pereira, Contreras working on him. Back run, his shot blocked by Ray. Contreras having a big game on defense. Look at the run from Landon. Leo sees him. Leo wants him. Leo holding off Lund. Now can he drop the dime? De Oliveira. Serda had to see Contreras take this one. Escoto. Cuts it in the middle. Contreras off the right post. And soccer should keep here for the corner. It's defensive clearance. Top of the arc for Landon's, San Diego. Landon staying out. Landon wanted that pass from Leo. And I don't want to be too harsh on Leonardo de Oliveira, but... He's got to play Landon right there. He's got to know who's making that run. Landon, though, with another chance maybe here. Get his name up in lights on his debut. Escoto shoots frame. Hit the soccer script logo. Eight and a half to play. Donovan ready to come off. Poyo on. Poyo takes a foul right away as he came on the turf. And that's a blue card on Pablo. It's Escoto who's down, pardon me, not Poyo. Escoto is writhing. And Pardo comes over to push Lund away and administer to his teammate. And things have gotten chippy here in San Diego. Just a wee bit. Just a wee bit. Cooler heads to prevail here. Lund's got to get lost right now. Well, the Sockers will go on the man advantage for the second time tonight. As we've mentioned, San Diego has really been tuning up this power play of late. And we see the replay here, Craig. A late challenge. A real late challenge. An unnecessary one there from Pablo da Silva. Sculpto taking the brunt of a nasty kind of stamp down. And Lund getting into it. No punishment, I don't think, on Lund. Just a small disagreement there. And Pardo doing what anybody would do, backing up his teammate. Making sure the he got the treatment he needed. With 8.22 left here in the fourth quarter, the Sockers have a real chance to get a big momentum boost to the goal. The yellow card did come out there at the end, Craig. So in addition to the blue for the power play, the but yellow the came yellow at the wall? end. Is it going to be for Philip Lund or I think the Sockers? Soccer is being called to the bench for the five-minute yellow. <laughs> Brian Farber? So Brian Farber... <laughs> So that's not going to hurt the Sockers. He's got a bit of a smile on his face. Farber, who's hurt, just got a five-minute yellow for descent. And so the man who wasn't going to play in the second half will now sit in the box for five minutes. Changing seats. Smile on Brian Farber's face. I'm not going to lie. Smile on my face up here. That is, <laughs> I don't even really know what to call it. 
the man who was not going to play in the second half, getting involved any way he can. Uh, Farber's given the second officials an air full. My goodness. The fans taking out their cell phone lights here. Love this. Love this. Like someone's about to sing Every Rose Has Its Thorn. I mean, I'll do it if you want me to. Soccer's power play. And this is a big one for San Diego. Good land and tuck down in that corner. Boyo to the middle looking for Leo. Leo steals it back. What a pass! If Scotto couldn't finish, he's furious. If that's any lower, I think that bounce off the glass is going to go to Landon Donovan. I just heard Callum McClurg's call downstairs, Nate. The yellow was on Pardo. Farber is serving it. Okay. For the goalkeeper, receiving the yellow card. Landon. Landon. 2v1. Opportunity. Has to pull it back. Feeds Leo. Minute 32 on the soccer's power play. This is the big chance for Landon to score here on this power play. Boyo. To Pee Wee. Pee Wee. Leo. Poyo. Landon. Poyo. Oh, speed of pass. Minute 17 on the man. Leo. Landon. Oh. Shot saved. Sonaldo again. Sonaldo got something against Landon. Pee Wee. Well, he just probably wants to stop every shot. <laughs> right wing is Scotto. Halfway through the power play. Right now, Landon to the middle. Sonaldo read the pass. Wanted to feed Escoto for another tapper. Good well steal done. Three v one. If they can do it, Escoto cuts it. Landon turns. Landon's got it. He's got Poyo. He's got Escoto. Sharp angled shot. Wall pass tried to feed himself. Forty on the power play, and the Sockers hold the ball in the middle. Landon oh. back heels. He's looking for Leo. Leo to Landon! Tried for the toe poke. Need back to Sonaldo. So close. So close. So close. Sonaldo just pumps it. Meanwhile, we have an injured player behind the play. Keats asks for attention and goes down. Serena's been electric all night. It really does have that feeling. A rock concert festival right now. Soccer's, pardon me, Tacoma hoping that their player is okay. Right now here is they still got some power play left to kill, Craig. So Keats gets a little bit of attention. We want to say thanks to MITRE. MITRE USA provides today's match balls. MITRE, founded in Huddersfield, England, is among the world's oldest sporting goods brands. Starting production in 1817, MITRE, a proud partner of the Major Arena Soccer League with arena-specific match balls provided to both the MASL and MASL2. Hey, save big on a group great evening out for a group of 20 or more. Experience the excitement of a soccer's game day in a whole new way. Bring your family, friends, company, coworkers, or sports team out to a soccer's game. Contact Mary Beth Hughes in the soccer's ticket department at 866-799-GOAL. Book your group outing to our next game. How many groups do we have in the house tonight amongst the 8492 in attendance, Nate? Meanwhile, this is starting to become concerning for Corey Keats, who has not been able to get up. We'll take this moment to take a timeout for injury attention. 6-4 soccer, 643 to play. You're watching the MASL on 11 Sports. Thanks for checking out American Spa and Pool Pros. We provide liability insurance for pool service professionals. Whether your business is pool repair, builders, remodelers, plasterers, or just about any service for swimming pools, we have a plan for you. Our customers love us, and they keep coming back year after year. We're licensed to insure your pool business in more states than any other pool service association in America. We offer great coverage and competitive rates. There's a flexible plan that's perfect to protect your business and your livelihood. Have a question? Just ask. We look forward to you becoming a member of ASAPP today. Hi, thanks for checking out American Sp
Corey Keats taken off the field. He's on the bench, receiving further attention. Soccer's have 18 seconds of power play time left, leading 6-4. to four. It's Donovan in the corner, tried to center, and Sinaldo kicked it off the line. That was parallel, not perpendicular to the goal line. Trying to avoid the centering pass to the back post. Soccer's power play will elapse in one second. They're one for two on the man advantage. Back to even strength. Six to four, our score. Here's Leo. Leo was out there for the whole power play, but during the TV timeout, everyone got a little rest. Here's a Skoda wall pass. Sent it through the crease. Leo battling for possession. Ramos will come away with it for Tacoma. He'll lift one down the field and pressure Serda. West to send it back hot to Boris Pardo. Under six to play now in the game. Pittman. His goal looming larger. Serda had a beauty in the second quarter that really sparked that four-goal run for San Diego. Yeah, what a goal it was from Serda. What a goal from Pino back in that second quarter. A great goal from Pittman to make it six in the third. A goal from Escoto, though, the fifth, currently standing as the winner, as you said, Craig. It's the winning assist if the score would end where it is right now to Landon Donovan. Headed back to Sinaldo, 5.20 to play. Phil Salvaggio would certainly hope that Tacoma side of the scoreboard stays where it is. The Soccers look for that seventh goal to cinch this thing. Johnson now. Booms Ooh. it right post, a curving strike. Wow. That was quite nearly the fifth. Pino is going to use the corner, but that didn't quite get on at what he wanted, that ball. Pereira. The strength of Pereira. Wow. Look but at Pino. Look at the Beautiful. strength of Pino. Beautiful move. Pino sends his man into the corner. Gutierrez. Sinaldo out on safari again. <laughs> He'll challenge. <laughs> I kind of remember this back when he played for Stockton, but Sinaldo has got to be the most fearless goalkeeper in the MASL in terms of playing the ball with his feet and getting out of his net. This thing's got a little Danny Waltman in him. He's a little Jorge Campos in him. Oh, yeah. It's the, the right kid. orange kit. Here's Pereira turning and oh. trying to feed the back post. Right idea. Escoto. Under pressure. Ball bounced backwards. Not well for San Diego. And the Stars have it back. They change on the fly. The 56th minute is gone. Four minutes remain in this contest. Six to four, San Diego. Possessing, McCluskey, possessing. Soul rolling and sending back to Pablo. Herrera off the field for now, but you know he'll be right back. Lund makes the run. Pardo has to step out and chip that ball. Got a piece of it, pinballing, flicked by Contreras down the field. Escoto fighting for it, but it's taken back by Peterson to Sinaldo, who will call timeout with 3.27 to play. Question, Mr. Abadea, is this the time for sixth attacker? You know, when you have a goalie like Sinaldo, I don't know. Is he a guy who could be effectively a goalkeeper and a sixth attacker right now? You just let him kind of step up. I have to start calling him El Brody in homage of the great Jorge Campos and Danny Waltman. We've seen it with him a few times with this Tacoma team where they haven't gone with the sixth attacker. They've just let Waltman step up a bit. I see a pink Tacoma kit being broken out yep. right now. We're going six fours Tacoma. Which would Tacoma. lead me to believe that the sexto atacante is coming out for the lads from the Pacific Northwest. And it's going to be, as you alluded to, the extra man out there, the extra attacker, for as long as they can use it. So they try to climb back into this game. They trailed 5-1 at halftime, 6-4 the score right now. Soccer scored three times against the Tacoma 6th attacker in their January 18th meeting in the Pacific Northwest. And the Soccers certainly are hoping for a similar performance right now. By the way, San Diego made an announcement over the PA during the third quarter. I think very interesting, Nate. Biggest crowd in soccer's history here, 84-92. Every fan with a ticket here 
You had a ticket to get in, right? That ticket stub has just turned into a buy one, get one free offer for any of the five remaining home games on the San Diego regular season schedule. So you can either take your ticket stub physically to the box office and turn it into a BOGO, or you can use the barcode on that ticket. Call our tickets office at 866-799-GOAL. They will, you can read out the barcode and get the exact same deal. That's good for any of the five matches remaining this season. Anybody here can use that February 15th LD NSD ticket and turn it into a buy one, get one offer. We love having all these new fans at Pachanga Arena, and we want you all back. Interesting moment there. I saw Phil Salvaggio at the very end of that timeout break sprint off the bench over to his players on the field, and then sprint back to the bench. I'm not sure what the message there was from Coach, but oh! Whoa! Pereira almost headed the ball into Pablo's own net. Okay. That was an inauspicious start to six attackers, but let's see what the remaining 315 has to hold. It's Pablo De Silva as the sixth attacker. And the sixth attacker can use his hands, though, by the way. Normally, you don't see him do so, but there you go. Whew. Pereira fakes, crosses, lunged. Three minutes left in the fourth. De Silva finding Lund. On the wall, Ramos sends it back. You know Landon's seeing that empty net right now, saying, let me back out there. Pereira. I don't care if there's no goalie. With two tonight. Nick Pereira crosses Lund. Second touch, sends it to the corner and gets it back. 2.35 remaining right now. Lund crosses Pereira. Back to Lund. They're playing a two-man game, and Pablo's the outlet. A yawning goal mouth on the western side of Pachanga Arena, San Diego. No keeper there. Pereira. Ramos turns. Ramos challenged by Pollo. Pollo's down. Ramos is shooting. Touched by Pardo. What a save. Contreras takes a heavy hit. Two men down. Contreras first up. Lund slow to get up. What a save, though, by Forrest Pardo. Sprawling out to his right. Hope everybody's okay here. Contreras and Lund flashing there. So we're going to have a short break for Lund to get back up to his feet. But that save from Boris Pardo, one of the best of the night from either goalkeeper. And on cue right now, Sonaldo is going to come back to the pitch, Craig. Lund continues to receive treatment. And Sonaldo is back out to the field for Tacoma. Well, he has to because on the goal throw, Pardo could just throw the ball in the net. Yes. And he certainly got the arm to do so. Or Sparto. Boy, this is tough news for Philip Lund. Let's hope he's okay. We saw Keats injured earlier. He is not returned. Of course, the Sockers lost Brian Farber in the second quarter. And Lund favoring that right ankle. Boy, he and Contreras. And nice to see the sportsmanship of the exchange of hands there. But, boy, they had an exchange of, looked like shins. That was a nasty one. I hope that Lund's okay. I think his evening might be over. And that's a huge loss, to be sure. He scored the first goal of the night for Tacoma. Brought the score back to 1-1 way back when in the first quarter. Here's Pardo airing it out. <laughs> maybe, not, maybe not quite the distance to chuck it in the goal. I think he was aiming for more height on that than distance. Two minutes remain. So it's 5v5 again here. When will Sonaldo get the call to run off? So the... Uh, Stars, by the way, are out of timeouts tonight. They've used both of theirs. Here's Ramos. Minute 48 to go. Sonaldo is wandering. Sonaldo is running off. Pablo is on. Back to six attackers with a minute 41 left in the, pair, in the fourth period. Megson. Pereira. 90 seconds to play. Soccer's lead 6-4. to four. They've had just one goal in the second half. Right wing. This pass deflects. Pino. Heads it, Poyo sends it, oh. stolen. Juice Cox. If Pee Wee gets that ball, he probably scores. Here's Pablo. Deflected Contreras. Can the Sockers get the ball on their toe? Not now. 70 seconds remain. Pereira. Down to Megson as Nate Abrea heads to the field for a post match interview, potentially. De Silva. Pablo to Pereira. Final minute. This pass deflected. Shot! High off frame. Megson. A riser that just went above the crossbar. 50 seconds remain in the match. 
De Silva has the ball. Pablo, high middle. Pereira fakes and sends it back. Pablo punched out by Ortega with the right foot. Pereira with 35 seconds left. Headed Contreras. Nice turn, Pollo. He'll just send it into a corner. Beautiful punt. They have to run this one down and negotiate the field. Time not on the side of the Stars now. Six to four as the soccer crowd starts standing to cheer. Looking for an 11th straight win. 15 seconds. Tipped and touched. Contreras, they get it back. Off the crossbar and down. Eight seconds remain. Pereira blocked by Serda. Serda pushed off the ball. Three seconds and two. One second, a foul on San Diego with one second remaining. The Zuckers are gonna win this one, baby. Their 11th straight victory. One second remains to decide it. Will it be 6-4 or 6-5? Pereira says, look at me, Pablo, for this shot. Here it comes. And there's the horn. Full time from Pachanga Arena, San Diego. The Suckers hold off the Stars and improve to 13 and one on the season while the Stars dip to six and seven. Looks like a sigh of relief from Boris Pardo at the finish. Eight saves for Pardo tonight. And the Suckers beat the Stars for the second straight time. They're two and one against Tacoma. They avenge their only loss at home this season. And Landon Donovan's debut sees LD net a power play assist and sees the Sockers keep that win streak rolling. 11 straight wins and a 12 and one record on the season. Pardo picks up his 13th win to lead the league. <laughs> and San Diego, in a very physical affair, is able to prevail. They lost the second half 3-1. They won the first half 5-1. And 6-4 is your final score. Let's head down to the field now. Nate Abreu standing by with the man of the night, Landon Donovan. Nate Abarea pitch side here with the man of the night, Landon Donovan, after the Sockers defeat the Tacoma Stars 6-4. How are you feeling right now after your football rapido debut, sir? Tired. Uh, we made that a little harder on ourselves and got uh, beat a few times. I got some stuff to learn, but I'm glad we won. A lot of fun, great crowd tonight, and it was a good game. What did you learn this evening? What was the learning experience for Landon Donovan here tonight? Learn don't get max, uh, matched up with Cox 1v1 at the end there. And that there's still a lot of things that I got to get better at. But our team played well, a lot of energy in the stadium, and most importantly, we won the game. Talk about that energy in the stadium. Vuvuzela's here tonight. Almost sounded like the 2010 World Cup, bringing back some good memories. But talk about the crowd tonight and what that meant for you. Yeah, it was awesome. And big credit to the soccer's front staff and organization who worked tirelessly for two weeks to get this many people in the stadium. Great crowd. Uh, they spurred us on tonight, and it was a lot of fun. What's next for you, Landon? Rest, ice bath, uh, sleep, recover, and then get ready for our next match. And um, we got to keep going. We want to obviously make the playoffs, but we want to keep home field advantage throughout the playoffs, so we got to keep going. You've lived quite the soccer life. Last question, where does this rank in terms of experiences? Your MASL debut tonight for the San Diego soccer. It's pretty special. I had a lot of my family here, a lot of people that I met over the last couple years in San Diego in the soccer community, including yourself. It's been a lot of fun to be out and about and then have a chance to play and perform in front of them, and uh, it'll only get better from here. Well, Landon, congratulations on a soccer's win this evening. Thank you. Thanks. Landon Donovan, back upstairs to you, Craig Elston. Nate Abadea, thank you so much. Let's say that famous number one more time, 8,492 in attendance, the biggest crowd in Soccer's three history by over 1,000 fans. San Diego prevails six to four, our final score. These two teams will both board an airplane, hopefully not the same one, and fly to Tacoma tomorrow morning. They will meet one another Sunday evening, 5 p.m. at Showwear Center in Kent, Washington. That match will be available for you on MASL TV on YouTube.
We want to thank you nationwide for joining our 11 Sports USA broadcast and for those of you streaming on Twitch. For Ted Bendrick and our entire TVX video crew and for Nate Abarea, I'm Craig Elston saying thank you so much for your time and your attention tonight as the Sockers in Landon Donovan's debut see Landon score a power play assist and see the Sockers win 6-4. to four. Good night from America's finest city.